Israeli forces deepened their incursion into two northern and southern areas of the Gaza Strip, and Palestinian health officials said tank shelling in Rafah killed at least 11 people. Residents and Hamas media said tanks advanced further west into the Shakush neighborhood of Rafah, forcing thousands of displaced people there to leave their tent camps and head northward to the nearby Khan Yunus. Since May 7, tanks have advanced in several districts of Rafah, and forces remained in control of the entire borderline with Egypt and the Rafah crossing, the only gateway for most of Gaza's 2.3 million people with the outside world. One resident said some bulldozers in the Shakush area were piling up sand for Israeli tanks to station behind. Some families live in the area of the raid and are now besieged by the occupation forces, he said. Arab mediators' efforts, backed by the United States, have so far failed to conclude a ceasefire. Hamas says any deal must end the war and bring full Israeli withdrawal from Gaza, while Israel says it will accept only temporary pauses in fighting until Hamas, which has ruled Gaza since 2007, is eradicated. The Israeli offensive has so far killed more than 37,000 people, according to the Gaza Health Ministry, and has left the tiny, heavily built-up coastal enclave in ruins. In parallel, Israeli forces continued their new raid into the Shejaya neighborhood in the northern Gaza Strip, into which tanks advanced on Thursday prompting heavy fighting with Hamas-led militants. Medics said earlier that several Palestinians have been killed and wounded in Israeli bombardment and that medical teams have been unable to reach all casualties because of the military offensive.